Did you know the Lord Jesus commands everyone to come to salvation and not just some people? Please remember these precious words. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. That's Matthew 7, 13 and 14. The Lord Jesus who has the highest spiritual authority of all teachers who ever walked the face of the earth taught there are two gates, two roads, two groups of people and two eternal destinies. In other words, there is only a kingdom of God to inherit or a lake of fire to be thrown into. This means there is no purgatory or reincarnation or transmigration. Purgatory is the false idea that one is purged of his sins in fire after physical death to prepare him to enter heaven. This is clearly not biblical. We are purged here and now of our sins, this side of the grave by Jesus' blood, but we will never be cleansed. But getting back to Matthew 7, 13 and 14, again Jesus commands us all to be saved. This means there is no Calvinistic predestination. The Calvinists are wrong about this, just like the Catholics are wrong about purgatory. God doesn't want anyone to perish, but all to come to repentance, 2 Peter 3, 9. So the Lord wants us all, with no exception, to enter through the narrow gate. But he also said in Matthew 7, 13 and 14 that only few or the minority will do that. Most or the majority will be thrown into the lake of fire in the very end. Hence, in the lives of most people, God's will is not being accomplished because they will perish in the end. God remains sovereign even though he has given man free will. The majority of people in society are ungodly, dead in their sins and following the ways of this world and on the road to hell. This even includes the vast majority of churchgoers in our dark hour. Just going inside of a church building will not save anyone from damnation. Did you know the Bible never says going to church will save us from hell's fires. Only the Lord Jesus can save us from hell. Matthew 7:14 is most important in today's teaching. This passage is rendered by various translations as hard is the road that leads to life or difficult is the road that leads to life. In other words, being a real Christian is not easy. Following Jesus is hard in this wicked and adulterous time person putting into practice the Word of God will have lonely times as well as persecutions. Remember that. It is impossible to live godly and not be persecuted and lonely at least on occasions. This is a biblical fact. In Jesus' teachings, he never put the priority on this life but always placed it on the afterlife beyond the grave. In other words, our chief goal is to be to enter God's paradise kingdom which will never pass away. This is how we are to live, even if it means making major adjustments in priorities and goals here and now. For many that will mean turning away from the eat, drink and be merry for tomorrow we die mentality to taking up your cross daily to follow the Lord Jesus. For others that will mean placing a submissive and obedient faith in the Lord Jesus as the object of their faith for salvation. This means that church membership, baptism, Mary, the sacraments and the like must not be trusted in for personal salvation. To enter through the narrow and small gate that leads to life means you are going to have to forsake sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation. That is a faith that will commit to the Lord and obey God. This is also known in the Bible as getting saved or being born again. But after you get saved, you must endure to the end to enter God's kingdom, according to Matthew 10.22 and Hebrews 3.14. And bring forth good fruit, or you will be cut down and thrown into the fire. Matthew 3, verse 10 and Matthew 7.19. The Lord Jesus has your best in mind, even though you will have it hard and difficult here and now. 
His best for you includes beyond the grave to be with him in a paradise environment where pain and sorrow will be no more. It is your choice, but it is also your eternity. Go by the Bible. God bless you.